zooming out for a minute, we got the St. Petersburg game, we got the uh, Pascal's wager, which like they're both introducing infinities by different passages, and then they seem to like just really create an awful lot of trouble for expected value. I guess I want to go out tonight and like choose what movie to watch and like make decisions based on expected value, based on like weighting things by their probability linearly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to feel like I'm doing the right thing here, but That's right. all these people are coming up and saying, "Hey, I've got these paradoxes for expected value that produce like garbage results, or at least like require totally rethinking it." Yeah. Um, how comfortable should I feel when I use expected value to make decisions yes. in in life? Are these like wacky cases with convergences to infinities and putting infinities and thing? Uh, yeah. Are they like fundamentally a problem, or are they just more curiosities? Yeah. Well, one one solution is, I, I guess I mentioned it earlier. You really do just zero out these crazy cases. Yeah. You don't even give them one in a Googleplex credence. Yeah. And that that would certainly quarantine them. Yeah, I, I have made versions of this this worry in a few places, how even just everyday decisions seem to be contaminated by, in this case, infinity. I have also talked to the, about it in relation to a game that has no expectation at all, the so-called Pasadena game. And the game itself may seem pathological, but if you give it any credence, then even a simple choice, like where should I go out for dinner tonight? Will it be Chinese or pizza? If you give some probability to the crazy stuff happening at the end, that easy decision gets infected too. Yeah. So I guess you have to do the dogmatic thing and just say, oh, look, I'm just zeroing out or even, sure. even more dogmatic. you can go dogmatic. Well, you can choose your dogmatism. You can either be when things become sufficiently weird, I give them zero probability. It yeah. seems dogmatic. Or I guess you can be, I refuse to consider infinities. Uh, just give yep. them some finite positive value and, and leave yep. it at that. Yep. Or you just have to become a fanatic who pursues uh, infinite values well, all the time. Well, yeah. and you heard me before was yeah. a, uh, putting an argument for, for the crazy thing. Uh, that's right. And so for practical purposes, I, I think you, you have to be dogmatic. And maybe even in some cases, not just being dogmatic and giving probability zero to these scenarios, in some cases, you just don't even consider them. They're just not even in your space of possibilities to begin with. It's, it's not that you, you recognize it and give it probability zero. Uh, this is one statistician's reply that I've heard. You just don't even put it in your model of the I world. See. 